everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown Tech. I'm coming back at you today with another awesome build guide, this time for a bit of a higher price, $3,500. And the reason I chose this price is back in the day when I built my current editing rig, it cost me $3,400, almost $3,500. It has two 980 Ti's, which is top of the line for the day, and an Intel Core i7-4700K, I think, something like that. I know it's a K, I don't know the exact model number. But uh, there we go. That is what my system was back in the day. I was curious what $3,500 will get you today. And it'll get you a pretty ballin' system, guys. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. But before we get on into it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. Also, check out any and all of the parts that we mentioned in this video in the description down below on Amazon. You'll be able to find all of the parts you want down there. And if you buy through any of those links, it helps support the channel. So thank you very much for doing that in advance. Now, what are we looking at? for this system. Well, I wanted it to be an editing rig, right? Like what I have right now. This is an editing rig that I have and I wanted to build another one for 3500 bucks in 2018. So, let's get on into it. Well, for the processor, we're obviously going with a Core i7, 8700K that's going to have six cores, which is going to be plenty for editing, and it's going to be clocked at a 3.7 GHz base clock. That should be pretty competent, and with the overclocking we're going to be able to do, because we're water cooling this thing, this will be a very good processor for video editing. Speaking of water cooling, we're going with a Cooler Master, Master Liquid ML240L RGB all-in-one liquid cooler. You're gonna notice RGB is a theme of this build. There's one regret I have from building my system back in the day. There's not enough RGB. This system will have a lot of RGB and we're starting off with the freaking CPU cooler. It's gonna have RGB. As will the motherboard and we're going with the MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon Full ATX motherboard here. Plenty of RGB on this thing. It's beautiful. It's gonna serve us well. 64 gigabytes of RAM in total with plenty of expansion slots and the ability for SLI. Wink, wink, wink. So it's got everything we're looking for in our motherboard here. It's also got the ability for tons of M.2 expansion if we want to do that in the future. So tons of options for this thing, and that's why I went with it for the motherboard. For the RAM, I went with 32 gigabytes. No, I didn't. I went with 64, guys. Four 16 gigabyte sticks of RAM in this thing from G-Skill. We're going with their Sniper X series here. Very good RAM. I didn't get any RGB in the RAM, I know, but this was a really good deal on this. RAM plus the fact of the matter is it's a bit of a higher speed than most of the other RAM in this price range. It was just an awesome deal right now. So I had to add it to this system. So 64 gigabytes of RAM actually ends up taking a big chunk of this budget. We're spending $691 on this DDR4 RAM guys. So RAM prices are up. Okay, this is me telling you, if you didn't know, RAM prices are up because we're sending $700 on RAM. But we're getting 64 gigabytes for it, and we're getting some pretty good RAM. Check it out in the description if you want more info. I just, this is just an awesome RAM deal currently. For our hard storage, though, we're going with a 4 terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue HDD. I should fill this up in about a year, and that's what I look for in hard drives. I want hard drives that take me about 12 months to fill up, and this one would take me that long. Then I'd just hot swap it in for another drive because my OS and everything is going to be on a SSD. A 1 terabyte SSD, as a matter of fact, from Crucial. It's a one terabyte MX500 SSD. This thing is going to have all my programs, all my games, all my stuff on it, but all my video and editing files are going to be going on the HDD from Western Digital. Awesome SSD and HDD combo there, but now let's move on to the graphics card. The big daddies, if you will. We're going with two NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti graphics cards here, guys. 11 gigabytes of DDR4 VRAM on these things. Freaking insane. This is going to be great for exporting video. It's going to be great for gaming. It's going to be great for live streaming and encoding and all that awesome stuff. These GPUs are going to be incredible. And we need a case to put it all in. And for that, we're going with the Fantex Intho Pro M case. It's going to have a beautiful tempered glass side panel that allows us to see our beautiful RGB artwork working on the inside. And I do like the sleek flat outside black finish on this thing. It looks beautiful, guys. It's got 
perfect cable management. It's going to hide our power supply and our hard drives. It's, it's awesome. This is exactly what I would look for in a case, and that's why I spec'd it on this system. Now, the total wattage on this thing is pretty insane. 675 watts. So we need a big power supply to run this beast, and for that, we're going with a Thermaltake Tough Power IRGB Plus that is 1,200 watts and 80 plus platinum certified. So you're getting crazy power efficiency here, RGB lighting in the power supply, by the way, and you're getting plenty of watts to power this system. 1200 watts for a 750 watt system should make sure you're okay no matter what kind of boosting is going on inside. So uh, yeah, that is the $3,500 build actually coming out at $3,413 at the time of building this. So right around where my system back in the day cost, you could get an awesome editing streaming rig today. So that is what I wanted to accomplish and that's what we got. There is 11% bottleneck on this thing saying the GPUs are a little bit much for the processor which makes sense. I mean really and truly two 1080 Ti's is overkill but the fact of the matter is it's only 11% and I've seen like production models ship from people like CyberPower in the 15 range. I think they shoot for below 10 but still 11% should be fine and this overall is going to be an awesome build. If you decide to buy this thing let me know in the comments down below. Also, please consider doing it through the links in the description as that does help support the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown Tech and I am out, guys. Peace.